Hey Cloud Gamers and welcome to the Cloud Gaming Extreme channel, your destination for all things cloud gaming. The Elder Scrolls Online received a next gen update on the, the next gen consoles recently so we thought we'd have another look at how it compares with Stadia on Chromecast at 4K and also online at 1080. So we have the Xbox Series X top left here with the web version of xCloud bottom left, Stadia Chromecast Ultra top right and the Stadia Chrome browser on the bottom right. Now the huge difference here we found is the Series X was lightning fast here at 1 minute 14 from the menu screen with the Chromecast being the slowest here at 2 minutes 1. However on the xCloud side they still have brought that speed down beating the Chrome version of Stadia by just 4 seconds here. So definitely starting to nip at Stadia heels on the cloud gaming side. However, when we come into the actual game, we can see that the quality of the Xbox Cloud Gaming is still not quite up to scratch as far as Stadia is concerned, but it's definitely catching up. Once these X blades drop, then it's going to be a very different story. But for now, we can definitely see some blurriness and some jaggedness on the anti-aliasing on the Xbox Cloud side, but it's definitely getting closer. Color-wise, it does seem better on the Stadia side, but the draw distance here on the Stadia side is much, much better than the xCloud. As you can see, the archways there don't even render on the Xbox Cloud side until we start running and getting a bit closer. We can see a lot of that environment starting to pop in. And there we go, we see those archways that just weren't visible on the Xbox Cloud side. As we go full screen then, we can see the Xbox Cloud side really a bit more blurry around the character model and the effects really showing some pixelation in a lot of the areas here. Still playable with no input lag, I was using an Xbox Series X controller wired here, but we can see that the effects definitely do give away that streaming engine on the Xbox Cloud side. As we switch over to Stadia, one of the other things we see is that the PC version, or the kind of hybrid version for Stadia here, has a much wider viewing angle and we can obviously zoom that camera in and out a bit more. The Xbox Cloud side is very restrictive on the console version of that wide angle. So we can see we're getting a lot more in the view here. Those effects looking absolutely fantastic. As we come back side by side, we see that a bit more prominently. Again, we see that blurriness, although the colors do look a little bit nicer on the Xbox Cloud side in this instance. This could be due to the slight different time of day, but we can see that much wider viewing angle. We can see a lot more going on with those effects on the Google Stadia side. So Chrome here, definitely still better to be playing in Google Stadia right now. And it is quite annoying that cross progression is only on PC and Stadia and not between the consoles and Stadia as that would make things a lot better. Now we're going to move over to the Xbox Series X and the Google Stadia Chromecast at full 4K. Now because Google Stadia is capped at 30 frames per second, I've put this into the fidelity mode for Xbox, which is also capped at 30 frames per second, but now pushing that native 4K. And we can see the vast difference here between the two of them. If you're looking at this on a decent screen, Although there is a bit more haziness on the Xbox Series X side because of the time of day, the level of detail on the environments there and the pillar that we just saw is hugely better on the Xbox Series X side, as we would expect with a native 4K update. But it is quite apparent that Google Stadia is not pushing full 4K on the Chromecast Ultra here. Just look at the environment, especially the stuff going on in the background. It's just pin sharp on the Series X, but we can see that blurriness on Stadia. As we come full screen, we can see those effects and the level of detail on the character and on the monsters now is just crystal clear and it does look absolutely phenomenal to be honest. And this is where the next gen consoles are really starting to catch up and push the bounds of what cloud is going to be expecting. As we move back to Stadia, there's quite an obvious difference now between those two. 
And Google Stadia's Chromecast version here looks closer to the Chrome version, which was at 1080, rather than 4K. So it's definitely getting that upscaling going on, as well as the capped frame rate of 30 frames per second. As we come back side by side, again, the PC version does have that wider viewing angle, but we really do see that quality difference is absolutely huge now which is a shame. We really do hope that Stadia can start pushing the quality as the consoles and cloud version of Xbox Cloud Gaming is definitely starting to get better. Stadia really does need to start looking at that quality if it's going to want to keep people ahead of the game. Let us know in the comments below what you think of the differences here and whether Stadia is going to need to upgrade their quality, especially once Xbox dropped their Series X blades in the cloud. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things cloud gaming, and we will see you next time.